Elise, thank you. Now at 646, we're checking back in on a blank drive and how you can help all of those who need to stay warm this winter. To tell us about this and the Toledo Hemp Center and what they're doing to help with this, we have Kevin Spittler with us. Thanks for coming on. Once again, thank you very much. You're very much. Again, this is the second annual blanket drive that you all have hosted. Again, this kind of coincides with your second year of being open. What did you see or where did you see that need for blankets in our community? Well, again, once I, when the first time when I came back from Michigan, I'm actually born and raised here in Toledo, Ohio. Um, it was the coldest year, I don't know if it was on record, or one of the coldest years that Toledo has ever had. And we just felt the urge to find a way to help keep the people that are a little less fortunate to get, keep warm this winter. And just a donation of a blanket, that can go a long way, can it not? Absolutely. So, and how many are you seeing so far, and how many more blankets do you need? <laughs> well, it looks like we're about a couple hundred blankets, and we could always use more, obviously, because the, the growing problem is, you know, it's not stopping. Right. It's really what we're creating is the awareness to help, you know, the hunger problem. I mean, <laughs> homeless problem, sorry. But you all have done, actually, a food, kind of a community event centered around food. You've done mm -hmm. that once before. Yeah, we actually do cookouts for the community where we promote awareness for the growing hunger problem amongst children. That's where it gets confusion. <laughs> no, I understand. Well, let's bring up this full screen this morning so we can take a look where you can drop off your blanket donation. You can do this at Toledo Hemp Center at 1419 West Sylvania Avenue, or you can drop it off at the Stop and Lock Storage Unit at 5544 Jackman Road. This blanket drive, it does end tomorrow, but if by some chance someone wanted to drop off Another blanket, could they do so? Yeah, they could drop off the blankets continuously at the Toledo Hemp Center as well as the Life Bridge Center over in Monroe Street. Mm -hmm. um, they're obviously continuously taking blankets, clothing, gloves, but they're less fortunate. And what services, again, you've been now up and running for two years. What services are you all offering there at the Toledo Hemp Center? Well, we specialize in industrial hemp products from nutritional to supplemental. And when you talk supplemental, we see a lot of pain relief, anxiety, and stuff like that. Uh, we're working with a lot of children with autism and seizures and so forth. And you brought a couple of your products along with you today. What did you bring along? Well, we brought our hemp coffee, which is a 75% roasted hemp seed and then 25% roasted, um, I'm sorry, 75% roasted coffee bean, 25% roasted hemp seed. Okay. And when you start talking about hemp seed, you get your omega-3s. So you're actually starting your day with an anti-inflammatory in your cup. And then we have like topicals as well as oral ways of using the products and just get a lot of different pain relief, again, anxiety and so forth, like fibromyalgia. And how can we connect with you, Kevin, there at the Hemp Center? Well, you can always check us out online at www.toledohempcenter.com or you can always visit us at 1415 West Sylvania Avenue. We're in between Jackman and Lewis. Well, I look forward to checking out your shop sometime in the near future. Thank you so much for coming on with us this morning, highlighting that second annual blanket drive. Again, this will run through Tuesday, which is tomorrow so go ahead and drop off that blanket and help someone in our community stay warm this winter thank you you're very welcome well now at six